What's up guys, Rogue9 here. A new club challenge is active in Far Cry 5 right now, and all you need to do to participate is to kill 10 judges or wild wolves with a bow until the 8th of May. Make sure to collect their collars, and yes, in Far Cry 5 even the wild wolves will wear collars, as long as you shoot them with a bow of course, and once you've done that you will unlock the glorious shovel launcher. It may look just like the RPG-7 that's already in the game, but with slightly less damage and range, but the in-game description assures us that it is a groundbreaking miracle of modern engineering. Get it? Groundbreaking? Funny stuff, but let's go see it in action. Yep, it's a shovel launcher alright. And boy oh boy will it launch those shovels. That's quite impressive. Oh, and look at that, these shots are even reusable. The only thing to keep in mind though is that these shovels have to be specially modified to fit into the launcher, so you won't be able to just pick up any old shovel off of the map. Instead, if you ever lose any of your shovels, you'll have to rebuy them from the shop for $60 a pop. That's not really all that expensive, but it is kind of inconvenient. Gathering up and reusing your shovels is going to be an important part of playing this weapon, because if you're not careful, you're going to run out within a single firefight. The iron sights on the gun are the standard iron sights you'll get on the rocket launcher as well, and while they work for close range, trying to use them at longer distances is going to be challenging. Add to this the fact that you have to take into account a significant ballistic curve, and the shovel launcher becomes more of a close ranged weapon. Could you use it at long range if you wanted to? Yes, absolutely. Look what happens when I fire it off into the sky. At first, I thought it was gone for good. But after a flight time of 16 and a half seconds, the shovel actually came back down to earth. So I guess yes, in theory, you could use this weapon at incredible ranges, but good luck with that. The good news is though that this gun is incredibly powerful, even heavily armoured opponents are taken out in a single shot, and that's at least something, so basically what you have with the shovel launcher is an incredibly powerful, incredibly slow firing, close ranged, loud weapon. If you want to take an outpost by stealth, this weapon is seriously not the one to use. If you're trying to deal with a vehicle, it's also not that great. Taking out the driver will be impossible as long as the winch shield is still intact because the shovel will simply bounce off. Taking out the wheels is possible, but it will take three shots in total to a single wheel. Not really very practical if you're trying to stop someone from getting away or running you over for that matter. And to top it all off, if you do manage to shoot inside a vehicle, you may well end up losing your precious shovel because you can't get it back even after the vehicle is destroyed. And even if you hit your target, retrieving your shovels can be challenging. The weapon is so powerful that it will knock your enemies back dozens of yards. That's tens of meters of course for anyone who's more used to the metric system. I mean, check out this situation, right? Uh, my opponent was somewhere around here and I shot from the barn and look, look where he ended up. I mean, finding an individual opponent like this is not that hard. You just need to follow the line of sight you had on him and eventually you'll find him somewhere. So in summary, is the shovel launcher a practical weapon? <laughs> no, no it isn't. Is it an effective weapon? Yes, it absolutely can be. Is it a ton of fun? Hell yeah it is, and I would gladly sacrifice one of my three weapon slots to bring this ridiculous but super entertaining weapon with me anytime. But that's already all the information I can really give you about this gun. I can only recommend that you go out and shoot those ten wolves with arrows to get the weapon for yourself. I really do hope that this ridiculous weapon is a sign of things to come in future, and I can't wait to see what silly shenanigans the DLC packs will bring. So with that, I would say thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next episode.